What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Well guys, I haven't been out on the lake in over a week. All right, been very busy this summer, but you know what? I'm back out here today and I'm gonna try to get on these crappie for you guys. The last time I was out here, these crappie were holding in 17 to 21 foot of water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to those same depths and I'm gonna see if those crappie are still there. We're gonna be slip corking live minnows. Y'all already know the drill. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit it. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also do me a favor right now, check to see if you have that subscribe button hit i was looking at some analytics from the channel the other day it looks like that 80 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel so go ahead and see if that subscribe button is hit go ahead and hit it if you already haven't hit thank you so much god bless you you know i would not be doing this without you guys all right guys i'm about to get on these crappie y'all stay tuned i do have one keeper crappie in the cooler already wanted to see if there was any here I'm threading these minnows on today. My first couple casts, I got robbed by some bluegill. I'm already gonna go ahead and thread those minnows on. I got the wind at my back, which is a little bit different. Usually I have the wind blowing at me with the sun coming up from this other angle. I'm trying not to get blasted by it, but we're gonna see if we can't catch any more crappie. I'm a little bit closer to the pile than I really wanna be. I mean, it's right here in front of me. And typically I don't get that close to the brush pile, but the wind, like I said, is at my back and it's pushing me towards the brush pile. And we'll just see what happens, guys. I'm, I'm hoping these crappie are still on these brush tops. Just cause you catch one fish doesn't mean there's more, but typically you catch one, one good keeper crappie and you find some more. So we'll see what happens. I do have waves today, guys. It's 6.30 in the morning and the wind is blowing about six to eight miles an hour, which is, in, is not very common here in Texas. Usually in the summertime, you're gonna be able to fish first couple hours of daylight without any wind, but not today. Oh, uh-oh, oh buddy. Guys, that feels like a good fish, and it is. Oh my gosh, come here. Oh my gosh, guys. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Big fish alert. Big fish alert, guys. Oh, wow. You know what? That crappie hit that sucker out, way out from that, that buoy marker right there. Oh my gosh. That is a good fish. Oh man. Let's get some inches on her. All right, guys. That fish right there is 14 and a half. 14 and a half inch crappie. <laughs> wow wow let's go once again i got the cooler i got the ice and uh we're gonna see how many we can put in that joker today fishing about 12 to 13 feet right now in about 17 feet of water and this brush top right here is in not as deep water as this one so typically these crappie will stay shallower in the morning water temperature that surface temp isn't as hot and as the day progresses they'll go to deeper water right by the boat oh my gosh oh my gosh right by the jeez holy smokes guys <laughs> oh my gosh guys oh my gosh that's right by the boat you know what i need to scoot back a little bit guys i caught this fish right there i need to scoot back just a tad so i can get more on these fish that is a 15 incher easy that's that's pushing 16. it is no 15 15 and a quarter oh my gosh let's go baby guys that is a toad that is a toad fish right there that is a beautiful crappie 
Let's go. I need to make, I need to move real quick. Look, he's bigger than that other one I just caught at 14. Well, didn't get the hook set for you guys, but this is a good fish. Look at that. Wow. That's a good crappie. As soon as I turn that camera off, I got bit. That's a nice white crappie. That's not as big as those, these other two in here, but you know what? That's still about a, probably about a 13 or so, 12 and a half, 13, but let's see if we can't get another one. Actually, you know what? I still got that same minnow. Let's throw it back out there and see what happens. Look at there. Way out there. I'm not even paying attention, guys. I'm putting my sunglasses on. And look at that. That's going to be a keeper fish. Wow. Pretty sure that's going to keep. When you catch a 14, 15 incher and then you catch a 10 and a half, that's a big old difference right there. But we're going to put them in there. There he is. I don't know how big he is, but black crappie fighting like a son of a gun i don't think he's gonna make the cut don't think he's gonna make the cut just to be sure but you know what i'll be dog hey that's 10 that's 10 and a half let's go i didn't think he was making it guys but you know what over 10 inches in the state of texas and he's 10 and a half so let's go all right guys these crappie are being very finicky today i know there's crappie there but they're definitely not all biting it has to be a perfect presentation for these crappie today we got seven in the cooler right now it's been a hard seven i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's, it's been a hard seven. Oh, there he is Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, is that a black? Oh man, that's a big old black crappie, guys. That's a nice black crappie. Pretty sure he gonna make the cut. Let's see what happens here. My finger is all jacked up from earlier. Oh yeah, almost 11 inches, guys almost 11 inch black crappie he gonna make the cut baby all right guys spot number two i just kind of stopped fishing that first spot the bite was real inconsistent ended up pulling nine crappie off that one spot see if we can't get some big ones off of these hopefully it doesn't have to be big fish but a, a keeper would be nice i just gotta find out where they're sitting once again, guys, two brush tops, all right? In this pr pretty much the same, very close proximity to each other. Surely between one of these two, we can find some fish. Oh, is that him? Can't tell with this one. There he is. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's a good one. There he is. That's going to be a keeper fish. Okay. Well, I may have found something out, guys. Look at there, guys. Look at there. That's 11-inch crappie. I can't stress to y'all how important it is when you throw those buoy markers out. A lot of people think those buoy markers are just going to be 100% accurate. Oh, I need to throw right beside the buoy marker. And a lot of the times I bring people fishing with me and they think they have to throw right beside that buoy marker. And guys, I'm telling you, that is a estimated guess basically on where that brush top exactly is. It, it's approximate. Y'all should know by now on the channel, just because that buoy marker is right there. I've, I've caught fish 10, 15, 20 foot to the sides, left, right, up, down. It is a estimated guess on where those fish are. Well, where the brush top is. So let's see if we can't catch another one right there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at there. Uh-oh. That, that, that's a better fish. That is a better fish. 
Oh wow. Come here. That. That's a good crappie. There we go. 12, 12 and a half inch or so. Right there. That's a good fish. Let's go. No need to measure this one. No need to measure that fish. We're going to put him in the cooler. I think we may have found something here. I don't want to speak too soon, but let's see if there's another one. And guys, what I do is once I find where the fish are, I will go out from that area two feet at a time or so just to see how far I can get and still catch fish. So I'm not limited to one area. See, I, I know I've been catching fish right about right about in that area or so. If they're on that brush top, how I think they're on that brush top, that should be a bite. Oh, and that's him, I think, yep. That's him right there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Dang, look at that crappie, guys. <laughs> that, that's a good, another good fish right there. I, I can't complain about that crappie. Can't complain about that one, baby, let's go. All right, guys, I've had several people ask me on my last couple videos how I'm hooking this minnow, all right? You want the minnow belly side facing you. Now, I'm left-handed, so the hook's in my left hand. I go through the mouth and out the gill, the gill facing me, and then I turn that minnow. Do not hook that minnow in the belly. You will kill it. Top of the back, and look, look at that minnow move. That minnow is wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. And that is how I hook these minnows, especially if the bluegill are really on me. Just depends. But if those bluegill are messing with me, honestly, guys, I say that, but I've really kind of gone strictly to threading those minnows on. That's what I've kind of gone to. I like to pop and work that minnow a little bit, and it works. So I like to move that minnow I don't like to just throw that minnow out there and just let it sit there. I throw it out there, bring it back to me. I cover a lot more water doing that. 90% of the time I have realized crappie want that bait coming across their face. They want it moving across their face. They don't want it to just drop straight down on top of them. That's not very uh, realistic. So I'm gonna throw that joker back out there. I've been getting bites right here in this area so i'm going to throw it out just past it and bring it back to me should be game on right about in that area i've noticed when the wind is really really moving i'm not getting bit but when it calms down a little oh there he is oh there he is feels like a smaller guy well no 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 that's a good fish it's 11 inch crappie or so Oh, come on now. It's about 11 inch, guys. They got to be 10 inches in the state of Texas. All right. So I have this easy checker. Now, guys, I've, I've had people bash this easy checker and saying that it's not accurate. See, that's a little over 11 inch crappie right there. And I've had people tell me that they're not accurate. I myself have never had any problems with them, so I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Let's see, guys, that is number, that's 13. We about a little, little over halfway to a limit. Let's see what else we can do. There he is. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish right there. Come on, fish. That's a decent one. Let's see what he's gonna measure up as. Oh yeah, 10 and a half inch crappie, guys. 10 and a half inches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 10 and a half, baby. Let's ride. Let's ride. I'm sorry, guys. My finger, I cut my finger. My, the, about the second fish that I caught, look at that. 
that that gill plate from that crappie sliced my finger open and it's it's kind of getting getting to me a little bit but i'm gonna keep pushing let's go all right guys i went about six inches six to eight inches deeper on this pile with catching a lot of small fish first time i go about six to eight inches deeper i catch a keeper crappie i know some of y'all have heard that football is the game of inches but crappie fishing is sometimes it can be just a few inches that matter a lot hovering that minnow just six to eight to a foot deeper or shallower that could change your whole crappie fishing day around right there does it work every single time no but that's something that you gotta be looking for if you're catching all those sh small fish go go a foot deeper go six inches deeper it could mean everything it really could oh there he is there he is uh oh look at there guys another keeper fish well that's nice no oh, don't do it buddy he's on the deck he's on the deck come here come here there we go guys it's probably about 11 11 11 and a half inch all right guys y'all already know eight foot acc crappie sticks super grip all right acc crappie sticks i got 10 pound power pro braid on the reel then i have my slip cork set up at the end of this video i will link my slip cork set up i have questions about it all the time and i have a video i made from last year on how to rig up this slip cork right here all right the slip cork rig 12 pound mono leader and this is my rig guys i don't use live scope very often if i'm in my boat i have the slip cork rig i simply don't have live scope up here so this is how i catch my crappie and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button uh i'm trying to think of new ways to help y'all catch crappie all the time and hopefully by watching this video today it will put you on some crappie that is why i made the channel to help y'all catch fish now i don't know everything i myself i try my best to learn something every single time i go out i want to become a better fisherman and as i learn those things i go ahead and give the information to y'all as i learn and that is what this channel right here is all about now guys i fished this pile i've probably caught 15 fish off of this pile right here but i've only probably caught about uh four or five keepers off of it so we're gonna mosey our way over to this pile over here a little further off but i'm gonna throw past that buoy marker first then i'm gonna bring it back to me see if i can't locate that pile and where the crappie are on that pile see what what happens only bad thing is a little bit further away and that wind is not playing so it's not going to keep my bobber uh oh is that a fish it is a fish uh oh look at that first cast over there don't know how big he is there he is oh wow wow that's a keeper fish that's a keeper fish that is a keeper right there look at there a little meaty guy a little meaty guy let's see what he's looking like 11 a little over 11 inch crappie guys let's go well first cast over there now look remember i, I showed y'all that threading technique last time look i caught that fish i still have that minnow let's throw it back over there throw it back out there See if you can't get another fish. This wind is just crazy right now. Blowing from this way, that way. Then it stops for about five minutes, then it blows again. Oh, oh my gosh, there's another one. Now that's gonna be a better fish. That That's a good fish, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good fish. Oh, look at there. Look at that crappie right there, boy. that's what we want hey guess what guys no need to measure that fish right there that's probably about a 12 and a half or so 
no need to measure it oh i got stuff on the camera i'm gonna have to get get that off the camera guys one second i'll be right back hmm that should be it right there that's going to be a fish i'm going to call this fish right there that's where they are good thing is the waves is bouncing that minnow kind of up and down for me there he is there he is uh-oh that's gonna be a good fish right there that's what i'm talking about oh come on that's a decent fish should be a good one Oh yeah, that's gonna be 11, over 11 inches, guys. Over 11 inch crappie. Put him in the cooler. Tell you what, that cooler, cooler filling up, guys. That's number 18 right there. Let's keep going, baby, let's go. Come out of that pile. Is that him? That's him, I think. It is. Uh-oh, that's a crappie, that's a hog. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at that crappie, guys. Look at that crappie. You see that ACC? This ACC crappie sticks flip them right in the boat, guys. Look at that one, no measurement needed. Solid 12 inch fish, guys, solid. Solid fish. No measurement needed on that one. Hit that clicker the wind is messing with me so bad i should that should be a fish it's it's getting hard to get in that little strike zone about three or four feet to the right of that buoy that's where i'm getting my fish and if i don't get in there i'm not getting bit golly is that a crappie i, I think it is uh-oh oh it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one oh wow 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 that's a good one Whew. look at that that's about a 13 inch or so it's about a 13 inch -er. oh yeah easy i know his mouth ain't shut but he's at 13 and a half with his mouth open so he's he, he's a solid 13. let's go baby all right guys well having a little gopro issues just caught a keeper i thought i had turned the gopro on but i did not let's see if this is gonna keep yes it is almost 11 inches almost 11 inches right there so that's gonna keep and we're sitting at 22 right now my favorite number 22 three more let's see if we can get this limit it's always a very 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 blessed day when you can come out and catch you a limit of texas crappie always a blessed day i tell you what can't get much better than that let's see what happens here um stop getting bites on that that far one far one guys i mean it, it shut off on me so not, right now i'm picking some off of this closer one to me I'm trying to see where they're sitting on this pile i had caught a few earlier now i'm back to just seeing trying to figure out where they're sitting on it that's him look at there right by the boat and that's a good fish that's a good i'll take that all day right there still got that same minnow on there you know what let's go baby I'm not gonna measure that fish, guys. Ain't no point. All right, that's 23. 23, baby, that's right. See, look, the waves are blowing this way and the wind's blowing this way. I, it, it just kind of don't make no sense, but I'm not having to pop that minnow as much as usual. Those waves are just moving that minnow basically for me. But I will say, when a crappie runs across that minnow, he demolishes it. Oh, there he is, right by the boat. Is he gonna be good? I don't know. Black crappie. Let's get the. Oops, come on now. Let's get the measurement on him. 
I don't think that's gonna keep. I, I don't think so. Oh, you know what, guys? See, th it is gonna keep. It's ten and a ten and a sixteenth. But you know what? I just can't risk it. I, I, I'm not. I'm not the risking type when it comes to, you know, keeping fish that are just just right there. And I'd rather go catch another fish that's not any question if it's a keeper or not that's what i want to do come on now oh my gosh i don't know if that's a crappie if it's a crappie it's a good one and it is oh man look at that fish that's a good one for number 24. guess what that's one of those no measurement needed types all right no measurement needed on that fish wow 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 all right there we go baby let me see this clicker says 24. let's go baby one more one more baby got us a limit you know what i got that same minnow on there uh-oh there he is is that gonna be him oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that look at that oh <laughs> oh guys that's 25 that's 25 wow that is awesome right there guys that is awesome look at there who not there's no need to measure that fish that's that's at least 12 inches that right there guys is a limit of texas crappie and i'm gonna recount them here in one second just to make sure i'm not over so i'll be right back with you guys all right family what's going on i got my limit of crappie 25 here they are right here in the cooler um i'm about to head back to the boat ramp real quick and i will get right back with y'all guys if i haven't proven to you that this slip cork setup works it is tried true and true it is the old school crappie fishing the lost art and it still catches limits of crappie for me i appreciate y'all for watching this far right now is a great time to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button i'm gonna catch y'all back at the boat ramp y'all stay tuned what's going on family i'm back at the boat ramp and check it out i am so blessed today guys we got a limit of texas crappie all right a limit of texas crappie 25 crappie all over 10 and a half inches now the length requirement is 10 inches, but I like to go ahead and be safe. I didn't keep anything under 10 and a half inches today. I caught all my fish on my eight foot ACC crappie stick super grip. Guys, if you don't have that rod on your boat, you are missing out. These 15 inches right here, these 15 and 14 inch crappie, that rod was slinging those 14 15 inch crappie in the boat with no problem be sure to go get you an acc crappie sticks at acccrappiesticks.com and you know what guys summer crappie fishing it's on and popping right now y'all also got to take note that i did not fish in my most comfortable setting today the wind was pretty bad the waves were pretty rough all the wake boats on the water i fished two places today i fished two different sets of brush tops the first brush top they seemed like they were all scattered out i caught about eight or nine fish the second set that i went to that is where i caught the majority of my fish at and i hesitated because i thought that those crappie would turn on at that first spot but they never really did so i'm glad i went ahead and went to that second spot most fish were caught in 18 19 foot of water um about 13 foot deep slip cork and live minnows once again guys if you don't have this slip cork rig on your boat you're missing out this slip cork rig will catch limits of crappie for you and the proof is in the pudding right here guys the proof is in the pudding another limit of crappie like i had mentioned guys i'm so blessed so thankful don't forget that channel memberships are now available all you got to do is hit that little blue join button beside that subscribe button and a list of tiers will pop up all proceeds go directly back into the 903 fishing channel and also 903 fishing merch guys the link will be in the description of this video y'all be sure to go get your 903 fishing merch today but i want to take one second and i want to shout out these monster crappie members guys we got jesse stucker over at dead river baits be sure to go check out deadriverbaits.com michael mccavitt open water mike on youtube thank you so much brother thanks for the support 217 rebel y'all be sure to go check him out on youtube 
Albert Highsaw and Outlaw Crocker. Thank y'all so much for the support. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing, whether it be from a boat bank or kayak, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing Family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.